At 4 p.m. on October 18th, this VFW was shut down by the national headquarters. Now, that came after allegations of drug activity and assaults right here on the property. But now the leaders at this post are telling News 8 they're getting a bad rap. The only thing I, I feel real bad about is... And, uh... An emotional Reggie Gagnon is bar manager and a longtime member of this VFW post in Moosep, shut down days after the arrest of auxiliary member 72-year-old Joseph Gardner for cocaine possession and intent to sell shortly after leaving the post last week. Gagnon says allegations of rampant drug use are lies. We try to stop at the best of our abilities. We can't search people. We can't search people's cars. That's the policeman's job. They say the police, you know, are making up lies. What do you say to that? Well, the, the, the facts speak for themselves. The record speaks for itself. The chief says in the past two years there have been 25 criminal cases associated with the High Street Hall. Drug use, thefts, and assaults with little cooperation when police arrive. We've gone there and people have been all bloodied and obviously something happened, but nobody saw anything. Nobody knows nothing. For now, events which were supposed to be held here have been moved. This letter from VFW headquarters shows the reason for the 60-day shutdown. Allegations of illegal drug sales on the premises. Allegations is, I think, is a little bit different than uh, being convicted. They're telling us that we're guilty before we have a chance to prove ourselves. Dave Burgess, who you can see is a permittee here, says that they will try to make more changes so they can reopen and clean up the activity here. And one of those changes will be to add cameras both inside and outside this property. On the scene in the Moosup section of Plainfield, Tina Detell, News 8.